welcome to Mikai TV. Today we're back at home and today we're going to read the story of the camel that got away. If you have the book, you can read along with me, but if you don't, you can listen to the video and watch me read. And I have to tell you something, this book is also linked to the wonderful and colorful culture of UAE. Now let's jump into the book. The Camel That Got Away by Julia Johnson Illustrations by Una Rollinson The Camel That Got Away In October 2003, some very unusual camels appeared on the streets of Dubai. The Camel Caravan was a public art project. Not only was it lots of fun, it also raised large sums of money for children's charities and funding for the arts in Dubai. Everybody loved the camels in their brightly painted costumes. The Emirates Banker was designed and painted by the students of La Tifa College and became an extremely popular character throughout Dubai. When he mysteriously vanished, newspapers featured his picture, radio stations asked for information and posted a reward for his return, but he was never seen again. A replica now stands outside the headquarters of Emirates Bank. This is the story of the camel that got away. Some most unusual camels have come into town. Unlike real camels, they're not black or white or brown. I'm sure you will have seen them all around Dubai with their brightly colored coats really catch the eye. One day, they were standing on public display, and this is the story of the one that got away. A real-life camel was walking quite near. She stopped, and she blinked, and she said, what's here? I've never seen camels like this before, dressed in pink suits. One got up like a bumblebee, another in climbing boots. Where are you from? Please tell me, do. You must have come from a colorful zoo. Perhaps you've stepped out of a fairy tale. I know, you've been to a jumbo sale. Only jerk joking, er, uh, could you be movie, movie stars? Do you drive around in big flash cars? Oh wow, Spidey Camel, a real superhero, and a Triachi Camel dressed just like a pirate. Why you two look most awfully arty? Are you going to a fancy dress party? There were camels with stripes and a camel at sea, and some inscribed with calligraphy. Palm trees covered the coat of one, another had mirrors which gleamed in the sun. She looked and she looked and she looked some more, for she'd never seen camels like this before. One had flan flags all over his back, and another was painted gold and black. Some wore moons and some wore stars. She thought perhaps they'd come from Mars. Hey, you there, dressed in the fancy kimono, are you related to Yoko Ono? And, and are you Swedish? That can't be so, for surely you live in the ice and snow. A centurion camel said importantly, Enough of your nonsense, now listen to me. Don't you know it's rude to stare? I really don't know how you dare. Just look at yourself, all dull and brown. 
why we are the best dressed camels in town. We represent many different nations, languages, cultures, and celebrations, poetry, sports, and history too. And we have insert and we have certainly haven't escaped from a zoo. We've been painted by hand and carefully made, and here we stand on public parade. We're going to be auctioned for tons of money. Now off with you. You're not at all funny. A tear trickled out of the real Camus eye. She hung her head and she gave a big sigh. But as she began to walk away, she heard a voice behind her say, Now that's no way to speak to the lady. I think your manners are rather shady. Please, do take no notice and come over here. I would love to talk to you, my dear. She turned around and his heart missed a beat, for the young lady Kamo was incredibly sweet. She gazed at him and he gazed at her and she felt a tingle run through her fur. He was dazzlingly handsome and awfully smart, and in that moment she quite lost her heart. In a spin-striped suit of blue and yellow, and his bowler hat, he was quite a fellow. She thought his outfit was really natty, beside him she felt rather drab and tatty. But he thought her quite the prettiest camel, he asked her name, and she told him Amo. He said, I'm called the Emirates Banker, and added that he would like to thank her. For taking time to come over and talk, and how he would love to go for a walk. I fear it's p- impossible for me, he said, but then an idea popped into his head. If you will teach me what real camels do, then perhaps I can run away with you. So she showed him how real camels run, how they sit in the sand, always facing the sun. She showed him to how to close his nose, how to to take a long drink and to spread his big toes. Then he wished and he wished for all he was worth, and all of a sudden, a wind shook the earth. For the genie Kamo was listening well, and under his breath he had muttered a spell. Then a whip of sand spun away and that, and our Kamo, he shouted, There goes my hut! But he gave not a fig, he did not care, as away he was whirled through the dusty air. In the blink of an eye, he had lost his suit, his monocle, his briefcase, and the sock to boot. He went on spinning till he felt quite dizzy, his head was aching, his knees went fizzy. And when at last he dropped to the ground, he staggered a bit, then he looked around, and there was Amo standing under a tree. She was waiting for him, it was plain to see. So now you know the story of the one that got away. He lives in the desert, and that's where he wants to stay. But when you see a Camo, if you find when you look, a bit of blue in his coat, and he's the one from the book. Most unusual camels have come into town. Unlike real camels, they're not black or white or brown. I'm sure you will have seen them all around Dubai for their brightly colored coats really catch the eye. One day, they were standing on public display And this is the story of the one that got away.